For this painting, the surface I decided to use was a double oil-primed fine weave linen, sometimes referred to as a portrait-grade linen, which had been mounted on a Baltic birch plywood panel. In order to get my drawing from my paper to my linen, I chose to do an oil transfer. I like the oil transfer because it doesn't introduce any other media into my painting structure. However, before starting the transfer, I first toned my linen. I found that when starting a painting, I like to have my surface lightly toned, so that very light values will visually register as soon as they are applied. For this painting, I created the tone using a mixture of ivory black and burnt umber in roughly a 5 to 1 ratio respectively. But because ivory black is normally a very slow drying oil paint, for toning I used an ivory black with an oil modified alkyd resin as its vehicle, which is the liquid the pigment is suspended in, rather than a more usual drying oil such as linseed or safflower oil. The oil modified alkyd resin greatly accelerates the drying time of the paint. For the burnt umber, this wasn't necessary, because even with a conventional drying oil as its vehicle, in this case a linseed and safflower oil combination, it dries rather quickly. In addition to the ivory black and burnt umber, I also included a painting medium with an alkyd resin component that would accelerate the drying time even more, mixing all three items together. By using the two different paints, the burnt umber somewhat counters the bluish tinge of the ivory black helping to neutralize it as the two are combined. With the paints and the medium mixed together, I thin the mixture with a highly refined grade of odorless mineral spirits before washing it onto my linen. Finally, I buffed off the excess using paper towels until I had a very light value to work on, and then let this dry overnight. Although for transferring, you could use your actual preliminary drawing, to keep from destroying mine, I made a photocopy of it and then used this for the transfer process. Without the addition of any medium or solvent, I scrubbed a mixture of approximately 50% ivory black and 50% raw umber using the same fast drying ivory black I used earlier onto the back of my photocopy. To do this, I used a hog hair bristle brush. The marked off areas corresponded to blank sections of the drawing indicating that there was no need to put oil paint in those sections. Next, I placed the photocopy with the oil-covered side face down onto my linen, and being careful to keep the orientation of the drawing aligned so that my transferred image would not be crooked, I secured one side of the paper to the linen using a low-tack painter's tape. Finally, using a mall stick, also known as a painter's stick, to keep from resting my hand on the paper, I traced my photocopy drawing with a red ballpoint pen, using the pressure from the pen to transfer the oil onto the linen. The pen's red color helped me to easily see what areas I had already transferred. Periodically during this process, I would lift the photocopy to make sure I was happy with my lines. I endeavored not to become careless with the transfer, because after all the hard work I had put in the drawing, it would have been a shame to have the lines become careless, losing their precision. With the transfer done, I now had a fantastic linear template, all done in oil paint, to guide me as I started into the painting process. But before starting to paint on it, I let it dry overnight.